Hey guys, welcome to another episode of R.M. Brooks' store. Look, we've got special guests today. Ricky and Junkman are here with us, and they're helping me decorate for fall. Okay, hopefully. It's great. It's great. Anything you do. Anything you do. I ain't washed it yet. Yeah, ain't. No, not yet. I've, I've been told about it. I've had a few people uh, tell me they recognize me now. So. Oh, yeah, when they come into the restaurant here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They said they saw you on the video? Yes, sir. <laughs> matter of fact, just this morning they were bringing it up. So I'm officially part of the family here now. Oh, it's beautiful around here, man. Oh. How'd you guys trip in? Good, good. It's gonna be a pretty day today. Oh yes, most definitely. Are you say y'all from Las Vegas? Yes. So you've been uh Moving, you say so you're moving to Tennessee? Yeah, yes. Ozone. We bought a house in Ozone. Ozone. Yeah, Rock, near, Rockwood. near Rockwood. Rockwood, okay. Crossville. What, what's y'all's names? My name's Amelia. Amelia? This is my David. husband, David. David? Yes. Yeah, what brought y'all to Tennessee from Las Vegas to live here? Uh, uh, less of the crazy Tennessee, life. Yeah. <laughs> God, family, country. Yeah. It's, a little bit more simple here, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Well, so you've been watching our videos? Yes. 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 Yep. yep. How Faithfully. Long you, how long y'all been watching? Oh, a couple year, years now. Oh. Yeah. Couple years. Yeah. So is that what made you decide to move to Tennessee? Watching the videos? Or? No. Uh, we drove through here. Uh, we bought a car, came back to Boston to buy a car for parts, and drove it back to Vegas and came through Crossville and all that. And I liked the area, so I started looking. Oh, okay. And and I've got about 10 years more before I retire, so I, we wanted to find somewhere quiet to, that I could finish out, you know, finish working. And You're going to be, be working the, in Tennessee? Be, yes. Be so you there. already moved here? We bought the house. We'll be here in January. I'm just finishing work in, in Las Vegas till okay. yeah. the end of the year. In the process right yeah. now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well. So, and now we're just traveling. Right. Well, yeah. we're checking on the house and following you. <laughs> well, yeah. Have you been down to Muddy Pond to the Gunthers? No, uh, no. Nope, that was on our list, but I don't know if we'll make it today because they're closed tomorrow. We're leaving Monday, so. Okay. We just came to switch it from the house from air conditioning to heat. I got you. <laughs> you yeah. know. Well. Take care of a few winterizing things. And well, we're glad you made it out today. We're uh, here to film another episode. So oh, we've been here right. two and a half years now filming. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So. Well, uh, glad to meet you guys. What's y'all's names again? Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> All right. Tom and Jerry. Tom? Yes. They're right here, maybe. Tom and Jerry. They're from New, they're from New Jersey. New Jersey. Are Jersey. we doing, are you sharing? Yes. Let me go Jerry. get it. Let me go get another plan. I want to die. You're on a diet? <laughs> me too. Can we get a picture with you? Yes. Give me let me get your let me get your beautiful sure. bottle next to the place. Okay. Out? No, it's just in here. I'll just Okay, okay. I'll turn this part then. I can I can uh, There we go. Yeah, here. Yeah. I'll do one I'll do one long ways and then this way. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. This way. Good. You guys are so Thank sweet. You. From New Jersey? Yes. Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. Jersey. We're going to buy land down Jersey. here. Jersey. I love it down here. Yeah, we're looking to buy uh, something down this way. Does that turn out good? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Very good. Very okay. good. Okay. And I took some all. Jersey. Good. So, Jerry and Jersey. <laughs> Jerry and Jersey. I love it down here. Oh, good. I've come down here so many times. Oh, well, we're so glad you're here. Okay, you. eat your food. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Yes. We can talk more in just a little bit, okay? okay. Would that work? So much. Okay, got it? So nice to meet you guys. Okay. And this comes from uh, uh, Las Vegas. Yes. Yeah. 
I'm looking at flying out to Las Vegas in uh, January. My my nephew has decided to have a baby, and they're doing the gender reveal out there. I don't I don't know for sure, but anyway, maybe. And I've been to Vegas one other time, but it wasn't to gamble or watching the shows. It was at Rick's Restoration, and yeah. yeah. Yep. Anyway, so yeah. And Katie's making your food, so I've had her take over the grill for a few minutes. Well, okay. we're glad you're here. The weather will be nice in January. That's for sure. It'll be yeah, it'd probably be better than here, yeah. and seeing that I'm not really a fall winter girl. I mean, I like fall. But winter doesn't do so it'll be good right. it'll be good for me to fly out there right anyway well it's i'm glad you're here oh. are you guys vacationing we no, bought a house, we bought a house out here oh we're ozone yeah where Rock ozone Rockwell. yeah where ozone falls are yeah <gasps> right across the street those are my favorite one of my favorite falls i had a great experience there yeah. one time so we can't wait yeah well, we're glad you're in Tennessee. Yeah. So, okay. Are you going to sell your place in Vegas and then move yeah. out here completely? No, well, I don't know if we're going to rent it or sell it, but we already bought here, so. Yeah. But we're, we're moving January. <laughs> we'll be here. Okay. Well, all right. You'll have to make this up. It's not that far. No, it's not. Yeah. And Kingston's a really pretty area through there. Rockwood, no. Kingston. Okay. And down there, they've got some great Goodwills I like to go to. Yeah. We're, There's we're one in here. We're drivers, so. Yeah. The highway is yeah. off limits. Yeah. I know exactly where Ozone Falls yeah. is, though. All right, well, we're glad you're here. They'll get your food out in just a second. Okay, yes, ma'am. What do we need? I, I was supposed to serve you your food, Carl. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, this guy's really nice. He's local, Carl. Hey, Carl, how you doing, This buddy? guy over here, I can't think, what is, what is? Hanson. Hanson? Anson. Anson. Yes, ma'am. He thinks I'm mean. That's what no, I heard. He's not really mean. See, there's a group of gentlemen down in the Mount Healing area. Well, kind of Allard, Jamestown, Mount Healing. And somehow or another, he mentioned that on the farm or something one day or out in Hayfield that I was mean. So. I wouldn't say that. They might have been putting words in my mouth, but you know. <laughs> So I'm trying to be extra nice to him. I think he says they might have been lying on him. Lying on him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, that's right. I'm just going to make sure that I'm nice no matter what to him. Okay. Are you guys, are we done eating? Okay, I'm coming over there. Oh, I don't know where Brittany went. Oh, hey, Brittany, come here, sissy. It, is your name Randy? Okay, it's coming. Now, I'll tell her from now on. This is Brittany. Hi. She's our newest girl. Brittany, we love her. <laughs> I put her on the spot. She yes, didn't even know you were going to film today. Gonna feel. Anyway, um, she works on Saturdays for me, Saturdays only. And she works for the police department in Morgan County. And we love her. And she's cute. And say something to them because they need to hear your voice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can talk to her again in a minute. Yeah. Anyway, oh, you how many, put me on the spot. I did. Her. I did. How many kids? I got one kid. One kid, yeah. little she's girl. Two. Yeah, she's a little girl. Anyway, so. I put her on the spot. She's gonna kill me. Yeah. I love you, Brittany. All right. Let me make sure that my son is okay. Laura's up there. She's almost got yours done. Where y'all from? Ohio. Ohio. Well, you're a little ways from home. Are you here visiting? Kinda. You come to see me, and I'm so busy. Well, anyway, uh, do, are you staying here in the area, or just passing through? We stayed in Lexington last night. Come here, going up to Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Yes, sir. See some trees with the leaves and see the ground, then take the East Tennessee Byway from our office. Zigzag way all the way over to Mount Erie. Mount Erie. Oh, that would be nice. That's nice. So they're from Ohio. This is John Ward. If you yep. don't want to be filmed, it won't hurt our feelings. He just comes every once in a while, and I'm sure you've seen. I subscribed him. last week. <laughs> so they're traveling from Ohio. From Ohio. Tell him again where you're going. Ohio to Lexington yesterday. Today here. Tonight, Middlesbrough, Kentucky. And then from there, we're going to Mount Airy. Yeah, that'll be great. Kentucky's really pretty. Some I had some people the other day that were talking about that's just got that r the rolling. It's just pretty up through there. So anyway, well we're glad you're here. Sorry that it's there's just a little bit of transit Zach transaction transition transfer something. I don't know. I can't talk this morning. Miles to try your bologna sandwich. Well, I mean, so you guys aren't decorating it that much though. No. Are you sure? Just Did you want your bread grilled? 
I, I'm having her grill the bread, and then he brought you that. Okay, good. All right, that's that's what I'm known for is my hoop cheese and frappuccini and cheeseburger. Okay. So since y'all drove that all that way, just eat it. And listen, let me uh, teach you. Let me teach. I'm gonna teach them something. Hang on a second. Mm. Do I have mustard, sissy? No mustard. I need to borrow it for just a bit. They just got it plain Jane. But I mean that's okay. I'm not being critical or nothing. Cheese on this one. But I was, I'd have decorated that sucker all the way up. Cheese and mustard. Do you want some hoop cheese too? Oh. Okay. I'm gonna teach them how to eat it. So watch. So there's one way you do it where you just eat the cheese like just cheese and crackers. But then and my hands are clean. But this way, I'm gonna show you Uncle Bobby's way. Even if you don't like mustard. Fancy it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now just, this is the only time you can pop this whole thing in your mouth at one time. Okay. And nobody's going to say anything to you. Because you'll get the full effect that way. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Okay, yep. and I'm going to give you some of theirs, but I'll go cut you some. There you go, sweetie pie. You want a piece too? I can go cut them some more in a minute. Just pop the whole thing in your mouth. I don't it's alright. I don't know. You can do it. Maybe. You got a small mouth. Do it however. Just get that mustard on there. All right. I love mustard. There you go. I'll go cut some cheese. I'm digging into theirs over here. Is it good? Yes. It gives it a good, different taste, don't it? All right. That's your all's cheese. I'm going to go. It's good, ain't it? It's different. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get them some cheese. And then we're going to pray. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take a few days off. I'm going to sleep. And sleep. Okay, sleep some more. I'm gonna make these guys. Uh, did I bring your mustard back to you? I did. And I gotta tell them that's Uncle Bobby's way. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. All right. Oh, you got one. You got one. Here you go, gentlemen. That's Uncle Bobby's way. Uncle Bobby. It's listen. It'll help you. It'll make. Do you like cheese? No. You don't like mustard? I like cheese. Oh, your mother this morning. That oh my gosh, her grits. Let me tell you. Anybody don't like grits, need to try her grits. <laughs> I went out to uh, breakfast one time, this little country diner place, and I said, you got cheesy grits? And the girl said, oh, yes, honey, I got cheesy grits. And I was so excited. I was like, oh, my gosh. And those grits come out with a piece of American cheese melted on the top, and it wasn't even melted. And I thought, girl, that is not cheesy grits. <laughs> them were, but my, and then my, yeah. I don't like grits, like, just regular way, but if they got, like, my mama does them, those, are yeah. you okay? What happened? Mm. I went face first into, into uh, asphalt. It looks like she beat, beat yeah. you up. That was Monday, yeah. <laughs> she did. She beat me up with an ugly stick. That's a four foot two by four. But he's okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Did it break your nose? No. Well, no? it probably did, but I didn't do anything about it. Well, okay. Do I need to give you another hug? Because that's going to make that taste better. Come here. One more time. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Now. Now try it. All right. Okay. Yes. Found out that mustard is good for cramps at night. Oh, really? Yeah. And honest to goodness, I've got a set of bottle mustard beside my bed. Yeah. And if I get a cramp in the night, I just squeeze it and it goes away in about five minutes. Honest to goodness. Really? So, you guys didn't know each other before you went to mom's? No. Nope. nope. We sure did. Oh. From Georgia. Yeah. So, they're from Gainesville, Georgia, and we're from Marietta, Georgia. Oh. Yeah. That's so nice. First time we've been here and them too, I think. Really. Yeah, we've been telling everybody that her daughter, uh, his daughter, my stepmother, she has a restaurant in Dallas, Georgia. And uh, she's kidding us about driving all the way up here to eat a bologna sandwich. <laughs> so why are y'all driving and say, I'll make you a bologna sandwich, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my Aww. reason to come was for you to pray for my grandson. Well, I have something for your grandson. I'm gonna get. Hey, uh, Brittany, will you do me a favor? Um, have Katie show you. There's some books I have, and there's a book by Dottie Osteen. It's about that big. I need that book if you'll bring it to me. Yeah. Um. She's good. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
So your grandson's 24. 24. And he's got cancer. He got cancer. He, start, he got caught it the first diagnosed last June. Mm -hmm. And before Christmas last year, they said it was in remission. Well, he went back to college and uh, he came back on him. So they had to put him back in the hospital. Now he's going to Philadelphia today. They're flying to Philadelphia. And he's going to have the treatment, this new treatment that these doctors in Philadelphia said that the Atlanta doctors don't have mm -hmm. and they're not up to date. So they're giving a lot of hope that this, this new treatment is going to cure it. Mm -hmm. And we have been praying for him. We've had every church in Cobb County, Georgia praying mm -hmm. for him. And these people have prayed for him. Mm -hmm. And your mama is going to pray for him. You're mm -hmm. going to pray for him. Mm -hmm. And if people are going to be watching this on YouTube, Yes, that's what we're, we're going to ask them to pray. And we're going to be specific with them people out there how exactly. we want to pray. Exactly. So what type of cancer does he have? Uh, Leukemia. Leukemia. Leukemia, yeah. I forget that. they got a particular name for it, and it's one that's... Uh, well, here's one thing I know to be true. The Word of God is very clear. Absolutely. And God sent His Son to die on the cross for our healing. He did. So we either receive that or we don't. There's nothing in between. There's right. nothing too big or too this small for God. Right. Everything, even this morning, I was thinking about something, and he was reminding me that even the smallest of things that we think aren't important or they're maybe not big enough or for God, That's right. they're important to God. Yeah. So we've got to, your grandson needs to receive that. Right. <clears throat> Another thing that I found is when my, my journey with Gary for 15 years, because he was sick with cancer for 15 years, um, is that we always need to seek God's wisdom in all that we do. That was one of the things, you know, is that humanly we look to man to help us. But God is the great physician. Yes, he so is. we always need to seek his wisdom. And I just got done telling somebody, a, a young lady a, or a lady last night, I said, we have to seek the peace of God. So the peace of God looks different than the peace of what man has. And so we have to seek that. So I'm going to pray for your grandson and whoever else is involved in his life that he will have true peace about everything that he does. And that's my best advice for you. One of my pieces of advice for you because, like I said, we tend to gravitate. Doctors are great and God gives doctors wisdom. But ultimately, he knows our life from the beginning to the end. He knows your grandson's life from the beginning to the end. And of course, we know Satan's out to kill, steal, and destroy. Yep. And so, a lot of times, too, we forget that we're all here for this purpose here on earth. And our purpose is not for ourselves. It's for to be servants and disciples for God. Because that was his last great commission is for us to go and to make other disciples and to spread the word. And we have to spread that word about who he is so that all have the opportunity because it's his desire, right? right? So the first thing I think about with your grandson and what comes to my mind is he's so young. And yet when we really look at that, why? Why, Lord, him being so young? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which indicates to me that there's something very great on his life. And Satan is wanting to come in and try to destroy that and That's steal right. that from him. I agree with you. He's a very I smart young man. Too. Yeah. And so I'm going to pray maybe differently than what we would think, okay? I'm going to pray that he will, he will come to a place during this journey to really recognize why God has him here. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. A lot of times, and I, t I tell this sometime, like, and I learned this, uh, I, there was a circumstance that happened with me, not with me personally, but I was listening to somebody, and they were talking about a circumstance with their child one time, and my spirit was quickened, and my children were young, and I realized at that moment, it is great that I may have this great plan for my children's lives, for them to be doctors or nurses, and to have a big house, and to have their mortgage paid for, and have a 401k, but at the end of the day, God has the, a plan. Absolutely. And so I started telling my children, and I told my daughter, I said, "You may, God may want you to have 12 children and be a stay-at-home mom. I don't know that. But he has a plan, and if you'll seek his face, mm -hmm. then he will show you what that needs to look like. Exactly. He may want you to be a doctor. So we forget a lot of times because we're fleshly. So I want your grandson to know the purpose of why God has him here. And to, it doesn't matter whether he's a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. Mm -hmm. God has 
a plan for him and he has a purpose for him and it is for his kingdom. There's nothing less than that than for us to be walking in what God has us to do for a kingdom. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to pray for them doctors. Have we? We're just going to pray for a lot. Well, right. so. I know, I'll tell you real quick. Uh, Kins and I have only been here in four years. Four? Four. Oh! Because oh! Both of our spouses died. And, uh, and my husband died of cancer. Yes. We were all born to die. To die that's it. And so, you know, we're going to have to trust God and we're going to believe because he says, ask and you shall receive. And so, and where's there's two or three in mm -hmm. agreeance. So, but I really feel in my spirit, like I said, that your grandson, we, the most important thing is for him to know his purpose, what God has for him. Yes. And uh, we believe he's got a purpose. Yeah. 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 So we, do. we all have a purpose, but when we really tap into what God, where that looks, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we follow, there's freedom that comes in that when we're walking in the will of God and we're walking in what we need to, the way that he wants us yes. to. Absolutely. So anyway, but what's your grandson's name again? Ethan. 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 Pray right with us? Yes. All right, let's do this. Absolutely. <clears throat> hmm. Father, I just thank you for today, Father. We just praise you first and foremost, Father, that you are a, a God and a Father who loves us, Father, and you see and know all things, Father God. And so we just, we praise you and we glorify you first and foremost, Father. And so I thank you for that, Father. Your word tells us that weapons may form, but they shall not prosper. And so we stand on that right now, that this weapon may try to form itself against Ethan's body. But it, God knows what he's doing. Yeah. Always. Right. He puts people in front of us all the time. He does. Yeah. He does. Okay. And there my you daughter's going to come up here one of these days. She wants to see what you've got. She's got the rest too. You know, in Dallas, it's a little red, but he doesn't have anything. Yeah. So i got to come now since you all have been there. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Let me give you a hug. All right. Thank you I'm, for what you had to say. You're very welcome. Thank so, you for being bold. <laughs> Listen, I, I try I, I do try to be obedient. I mean I am a you know, but it's it's that's the whole reason I'm here. Are you filming right now? You are? <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
three scoops of ice cream in this. And look at that. What that's that? one, what, praline? Yeah, it's pecan praline. And that's, oh. I told her I wanted one scoop. That's, and that's so what creamy. I get. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> so you said y'all been coming here for a while, right? We yeah. Come, yeah, we come. I guess this is probably our third year at least. Okay. Of coming, and we always come here and go do the little houses in rugby, and we love this place. Well, good. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. Good as the chocolate one. <laughs> Look, they're doing more ice cream. <laughs> yeah, they drank my other one. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah. <laughs> We don't want to miss anything. <laughs> Introduce everybody. Yeah. They will be on the video. This is my oh sister-in-law, Danielle, and my niece, Sarah Bear. We call her Sarah Bear. They're no, they visiting from Arizona. From Arizona. Okay. Yes. I'm trying to convince them to move out here because I'm wonderful and they need to live by me. <laughs> but they just won't, won't budge yet. But we're working on them. We're working on them. Have you been to the store yet? Yes. They oh, came yeah. yesterday for... probably my third time. Yes. So and good. today for breakfast, mm -hmm. it's delicious. Okay, so back again. Yeah, well, we gotta get, gotta, gotta try the shakes. shakes. <laughs> Coming I, in for the shakes. I don't blame you. I feel me eating them here in a minute then. <laughs> yep. We'll, we'll see ya. Okay. Bye. Bye. You a retired sheriff? Yeah. Are you? Morgan County. Morgan County. I was sheriff here three different terms. Three different terms. Uh, what year was the first year you served? 78 through 86. And then I elected this last time, 2006 to 2010. And I retired in 2010. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you for your service here in the county. I've enjoyed it. It's been a great county. Yeah. I'm originally from Blunt County over at Marble. And I got transferred here as the Highway Patrol. Okay. And that's what got me started. I uh, see. Now, what's your name? Ledbetter. Ledbetter. Dennis. Dennis Ledbetter. Yes. Well, all right, Dennis. Good to meet you today. Thank you. Did you come out to get you a bologna sandwich today? I sure did. <laughs> hey, Dan. How you doing? What you got for us today? You got any good news about anything? You got your new Beautiful motor day. home set up back there you're working on? Oh, yeah. Yep. Got Changed it homes, didn't you? Changed homes. That one was about to fall apart. <laughs> How long have you been living <laughs> here now? I think it's going on four years now, I think. Four years? Ago. Oh, I wow. So. I believe so. I think it was in... In fact, this year, this month, October, I believe, is going to move here, so it should be, wow, time goes by too fast. <laughs> it does, don't it? Yeah, it does. I've been filming here for two and a half years, it don't seem like it, you yeah, know? Yeah, I know, no kidding. I, I remember when we started here. Yeah. I remember where I was when we started here. I was hitting the back. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to see you out and about today. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Good, definitely good to see you guys. Always good to see you guys. Have a good one, all right? All right, thanks. Take care. You just waiting on milkshakes? Yes, sir. Gotta wait for them for a minute. <laughs> Mindy's not working today, so they're short-handed. She, she took off because you all were in. She says she took off early so she could spend time with you girls. Yes. We've been out and about. Yeah, you having a good day? Yes. Yeah, you yes. like Tennessee? I do. Yeah. Yeah, it's very pretty here. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna look at colleges here. I am. Oh, might be moving here, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well good. <laughs> might see more of you then. For sure. Yeah. Did your first trip to Tennessee coming mm -hmm. out to uh, you related to Mimi? How I'm married to her youngest brother. Okay, yep. married to her youngest brother. Yep. Well, is he all, is he with you too on this trip? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he was here this morning. <laughs> okay. Just the girls out running around this afternoon, huh? Oh yeah. Leave yeah. them at home. We were in here one time when it was cold and they had that. Oh yeah. Going, yeah. Hello. 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 Tyler, Tyler. I'm right here. Let me say bye to Dennis a minute. He is grandson. Yes, sir. I want to say bye, Dennis. Thanks. Thanks for watching our videos, buddy. I like your truck. Y'all be careful. Have a good day.
multiple sandwiches. So what do you think? We're this is trade? amazing. She Honestly, this is to Tiffany R.M. Brooks store. I know. I know. Sandwiches. Yeah. Was your sandwiches good? Our sandwiches were great. Yeah, it's like so we just want to know this how many more beautiful. we got coming. All right. This is beautiful. I love it. I'm excited about it. Now this was on video in March. Yes, yes. Beautiful. Um, all right, what are we doing? Well, we're going to trade this to him for sandwiches. But you can figure out later on how many sandwiches you got all My cousin Kathy Joe. I want you to say hi to her. Say hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy Joe. Cousin Kathy Joe. Cousin, cousin Kathy Joe. Uh, Where her, does she live? I, Indiana. I told her Come I see us. Milk, Come see us, cousin. Milk crate for you to stand on to get your picture taken. So stand on a milk crate. You told her, your, is this your suggestion and her suggestion? No, it's mine. She didn't know how short you was, so stand over here. There you go. Get up there. Watch me get on the milk crate. If I oh. fall, right. hey, I'm, I'm as tall as you. I'm not getting down now. Come on. Hey, I feel like we I gotta, need it. Come on. We got to get one for you, too. Hey, we're going to take several pictures. We'll take, listen, here's how we're going to do it. I know it's a video, but. <laughs> yeah, what? All right. We're going to do this a couple different ways because I'm a woman. So, anyway, let's get our picture made. He doesn't probably know who I am. Rod, Roger, how are you? Fine, how are you? I it's you good. Are. I'm Tiffany. I'm I'm RO's granddaughter. Okay. How are you today? Doing barely getting around. Where's them where's them son and grandson of yours? Hi, sweetie. I, I just, I'm hugging these people's neck for a second. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> he didn't recognize me. I don't, Bye, sweetie. Bye. Bye. Sometimes they don't hey. okay. Bye, sweetie. Be careful. Okay. Love you. Last one, Tiffany. Last one, Tiffany. Okay. Hello, Give us everyone. just one second. I'm going to try to do this real quick. Hang on. Well, oh, come on. Come on in. Come on in. I'm sorry. No. I'm messing up your picture. I'm sorry. Listen, you're not messing it up. You're okay. Be in it, girl. It's okay. Hey. Hi. You can't film with no Trevor. Come on in, it's okay. We're just yeah. Um, <laughs> They're gonna be fresh pumpkin. Decorating with them. Oh, Decorating okay. with. Them. How you doing? Are you needing to go in, sir? You just want to watch the show. We're gonna go in. We're gonna watch it. There you go. I know. I I know, I don't really get squirrely like not on purpose. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Jabber Jaws hit the store. Mess my camera angle up or something. All right, forget oh. Halloween, fall. That's, that's, that's I was really wanting us to do it on that box. Step, step Maybe up. he can put that in as a blooper. Yeah. A blooper, all right, come step on. Step out a little bit closer to me, okay? All right. You get on this side of her just a little bit more. Uh, jump, man, come over this all way right. just a little bit. Now I can see better. Okay. Three, two. Hey guys, we welcome you to another episode of Arm Brooks' Store. We're here decorating for fall, so come on in and join us. Uh, okay, let's do this. What did you want me to say? say huh? Guess what? We got special guests here today Ricky, Rye, and Junkman. Ricky and that. the Junkman. Ricky and the Ricky Junkman. And the junk man. Junk man. I don't know, I'm having a hard time there. with me. We get cards in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, you guys, okay. She's worried about food. She's going to get back No, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I, I, I'm caught up. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome to another episode of R.M. Brooks' store. Look, we've got special guests today. Ricky oh. and Junkman are here with us, and they're helping me decorate for fall. Is that good? good job, that That's a wrap. That's a cut. Wrap. That's a wrap. You ready? Text her in the mail. <laughs> my arm's sore now. I can't cook no more. My arms are sore. Darn it. That's a wrap. All right. There we go. He should be. He should be filming this. He's not filming any of this. Right there. Right there. That is a. That's a muscle. Wow. That's a muscle. Oh. Tiffany, thank you. I'm gonna take off. I'm just being goofy. I'm just being goofy. Hey, gentlemen, so I'm gonna leave this box with you because really every now and then you need that box to get up there and get your fish took. So that's like another present for me. Hey, listen. Let me show you what I got right here. Look. I right. put you right there. Look. And right there, that's the first time Drew Starr voted. Did you Did you take a picture of that? No. Yeah, we need to. What is it? I'm going to show you. Right. Be good, sir. Are you leaving? Yeah. Hey, let me hug you. I'll get the box. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, that. Stand up hey, with me. Oh, okay. Don't forget it. Get out of here. Come on. Go to work. They're okay. They're caught up. You all, let's do that. Let's do that. We can do that. 
my cousin had a hugging box. You got film in this? Yeah. Oh, looky there. <laughs> Love you. See, I'm as tall as you now, just a little bit. If I had heels on, my wedges on, Ooh. I'd be taller than you. <laughs> anyway, I feel like I was important. All right. If you're in a hurry or you don't like obnoxiousness, this is not the place to come. Thank you, John. All right, Ricky, let's go. Okay. Bye, guys. Did you get your shakes? We did. Thanks. All right, thanks, guys. You done? You you gone? Well, I'm fixing to see. Um. Anyway, let me show you this really quick. Junk Man wrote a special order. That's the Junk Man special, and I put it here. Right here, though, look, you can't tell now, but you get a little thing when you vote. Drew Starr, the first time he voted, and I was so proud. It was in 2014, and I put that up there and kept it for him. Isn't that good? Yes, sweetie pie. Where's those at? I don't think my... It, I wanted to say I don't think the ice cream people brought it, but if the truth be known, the owner of this store didn't order any. It's probably the truth about how it is. So, what? Yeah, this one would be kind of like it. That's a cream sickle. I don't know if you'd like that or not. It's orange. No, but I don't think I have any more. Oh, somebody has. Oh. I, I had a guy come in the other day. He's a local guy. First time he'd eat here. Well, they come in later, and so I'd had to do a second batch of potatoes, right? Fried taters. Well, the first batch is always usually better than the first batch because the second batch we're trying to hurry, right? So I went out there and was checking on him. Well, no, he come up to leave. And, um... I said, was your food okay? And he said, it was edible. That's about as bad as saying, you've got the same shirt on. So ever since he's been coming in, I said, so that's like a, like a man saying to his wife, you know, is your food okay? And he says, it's all right. No, that's not. So he was saying, best, that's what, and from now on, every time he comes in, he's been here every Saturday after that. I said, how's your food? He said, terrific. And I said, that's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Hamburgers here are good. Yeah. The one I had today was the second best I've ever had. There you go. Last time I was there. Oh, that's good. That makes a girl feel good. I wanted to meet you. Oh, huh? I'm from, uh, I'm from Somerset. From Somerset, yes. 70 miles in the big deal. I, I love Somerset, but I though. I called to see if you were going to be here. Yes. I wasn't going to come if you weren't here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I watch you all on YouTube all the time. Oh. Every, almost every one of the videos. And I'm sorry to hear about your husband. It's okay. I didn't, I didn't see that on there. Yeah. And I wanted to share with you too that I am a four-time, well, four-time, four-time. Oh, wow. hallelujah! No, I knew you'd say oh, that. Oh yes. I knew you'd say that. Praise yeah. the Lord. So, um, I was uh, sitting there at home this morning. My husband said, "Would you like to go into that little store?" Because I'd been telling him. Yeah, sure. I get right on that, you know. So. Did you eat? No, I'm not eating yet. They're back okay. there looking at stuff. But yeah, okay. we, got, we ordered our food. Now, what's your name? Jill. Jill. Pinsford. Well, it's mm -hmm. nice to meet you, Jill. Oh, it is nice. It's so nice. And I am so excited. See, that's a testimony in itself, mm -hmm. right? Oh yes, 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 yes. And I share that quite often because well, I mean, I was truly yes, yes. I went through chemo, um, through radiation. Bye. And nice to meet all you. All that stuff. Well, on my hair, but this is my real hair. Well, your hair is now. beautiful. Well, I suspect it for you. <laughs> I normally don't do that. <laughs> normally don't do that. No, not for every. Not, not, Bye, guys. Thank you guys for coming. So I have already found me a shirt, and I found a sticker for my car. Good, 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 good. And I'm, still, I'm not done yet. Well, can we take pictures? Of just yes. Things, hey, just yes. Take pictures okay. of anything you want. No, okay. no, no. You're fine. Okay. All, right. All right. Well, you. I'm gonna go back here and see if our food is ready. And okay. I'm so excited. Well, I thank you. I'm so excited. I know it's just. Oh, that I'm makes me excited feel to meet you. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, because I don't, I don't get out and go a whole lot. Yeah. No. But yeah, it's worth it. Well, let can I? John is filming. Can we talk about you for a minute? Do you mind? No. You don't. You don't, don't mind. mind. Mm -mm. Okay. That's up to my shirt now. Um. I don't want to. Hey, John. Okay. Are you leaving? Yeah. Uh, more hugs. <laughs> I have to get back on my box, and I couldn't do that. Yeah. All right, junk man. Bye, junk man. I'm kind of. Tuesday. I'm beginning to really like you, junk man. All right. 
This is Jill from Somerset, Kentucky. She drove all the way down here today, which it's not that far, but no, Somer Somer miles. Somerset's a great little, I like that. It's got the drive-in. They always have a cruise in, what, the fourth Saturday of the yeah. month. Anyway, yeah. but she's a four-time cancer survivor. So, hallelujah, praise mm -hmm. the Lord. So she right. wanted to drive down here and meet, See and I'm soul. honored. Yeah, well, I just, I'm so excited to be here today. And I've heard a lot about your doors. Aren't you the one that paints the doors? Yes. That's Ricky. I told my husband about that, and then it's turned them in there back there, but they're shy. <laughs> they're shy. Yeah. We won't put them on camera. No, so anyway, no. But that, I, that is hallelujah. Yes, I'm just so is. excited for yes, you. What a testimony. I know it. I know it. It's just every day. Yes. Is a wonderful day. A wonderful day. To wake day. up and be thankful that you're able to get up and go. Yes. You know, That's but. been that has been my prayer for several months now. Every time I start is thank you Lord for one more day on this earth that right. you have given us. Right. You know? Because I know you're well you're your testimony as well because I watch the videos as I say and I think you pray just right there on the spot with people. Yes ma'am. That will yes, ma allow you to do that and that is just wonderful. Yes ma'am. That's uh, your testimony as well, I feel yes. Like to people that come in because yeah. you're so outgoing and friendly and Aww. you don't deny anybody i don't think it looks like i try not to mm -hmm. every now and then i have a bad day yeah, well if it's hard if it's really really busy too you mm -hmm. know if that's hard to do yes but, uh, yeah it's well i've got a good group a good staff that mm -hmm. allows me to come out and speak to people and right. i do try to be intentional but yeah well there i've, seen I've chased them. people down in the parking lot before <laughs> i've seen them on there as well just not there, to speak to them yet. Yeah. yeah but i did call to make sure you were going to be here yes ma'am if you weren't going to be here i wouldn't come in. oh that's so sweet i, I was going to so... wait for another day oh I I feel so good. I yeah. feel so good. Thank you well, so much. I hope uh, that you're blessed as well. I and I said that you were gone yesterday to do something with your grandchildren. So. I did. I mm -hmm. went to Disney on Ice. Oh, well, that, which yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed. I think I enjoyed it as much as he did. Yeah, so. yeah, and that's okay. Yeah, you need to do stuff like that. I do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to take a couple of days next week. And, well, I knew you were going to. We're going to take I a couple of days. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw that video and I was like, uh, yeah, it's calling to get yeah. there. There's no good time to do it, but the girls and I, we just, just the girls need as much of a just a minute down as I do. That's what we're going to. Yeah. So, yeah, that'll be good. Will that'll you go good. check on your feed? I'm going to. I'll come back there and speak to them, but we won't film no, won't them because we're not. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It was so nice oh, to meet you. you. What you a too. blessing. What a you blessing. All right. Grab my stuff. Now, gotta have a shirt for sure. There you go. All right. <laughs> Take Sounds care. great. So we wanted to share today Mimi's story, and I'll share a little bit with you, and then she, Mimi can share her, her side of the, or her version of the story, um, <laughs> how she got here to rugby. But I have a campground, as you all know, and Mimi and her husband stayed for how many months? Oh, God, six. Six months. Probably. Uh, while they bought some property here in the surrounding area. And then we started to get to know each other. And then as after she moved to her home that she has now, um, she came to work uh, with me. And so Mimi's a great asset to me. She keeps me organized. She keeps me on my toes. Uh, you can thank her for shirts and hats and all the other stuff we have in here because she keeps me going with that. Um, so I'm very blessed to have Mimi here. But I'm going to tell you how it, she's going to tell you, share with you how it was that uh, they decided to move here to Tennessee. So. Um, my husband and I both retired out of Flagstaff, Arizona, which we love and we miss you guys. Um, and we sold everything that we owned. If it didn't fit in a 10 by 10 trailer, it was gone. Bought a fifth wheel and hit the road and decided that we were going to travel until we found a place that we felt like home. We ended up staying here at Brooks while we were looking in this area and I fell in love with the people. The locals around here, and it gives me chills to even talk about them, are amazing. Tiffany is one of a kind, like she's changed me, I can't even tell you in so many ways. Um, so we were here, I helped her out when you were on vacation, remember that one yes. time? I was living here, I'm like, I can help you, I'm not doing anything. And I, I loved it, the girls loved me, we all got together, and now I do this three days a week, it's me out of the house, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. 